Into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Um, hello friends, my name is Kimberly Hilton and today I'm taking you into the forest with me to do a little um, uh, nature journaling uh, slash plein air painting. So um, I'm just going to try to get to a spot and uh, we'll see. We'll see, uh, I want to test out this little field kit that I just made, and, um, and I thought, you know, I'd bring you all along for this little, little journey. So, it's very beautiful and peaceful here. I always like trying to paint the light, but, um. So as you can see, I am in the forest. <laughs> uh, and I just want to test out this little pocket field kit that I made. And um, I'm doing this all with one hand. And um, so I have my, let me see, I have my coat on and I have my little, um, little field kit in a Ziploc bag if it's inside my coat pocket as you just saw me pull it out and this is a complete kit it has everything that I need and now I'm just going to find a place in the Sun and um, when you're painting outdoors a lot of times there's not really a good spot to sit so um, you know, I'm just going to be standing to paint, and um, and I want to stand in the sun because it's a chilly day today. I think it's just in the 50s, but um, it's warm here in the sun. I don't know how long that will last, but um, so I'm going to try to set this up. It has my water pot. It has my little Altoids tin with um, watercolor paints, uh, paper towel, paintbrush. I'll show you once I get everything set up, but I'm going to have to pause this for a minute and set everything up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I just set up my watercolor um, uh, handheld mini watercolor sketch kit that fits inside a Ziploc bag and inside my coat pocket. I have a water brush. Um, it's um, in a little um, hole that I made in this little artboard. And um, this artboard folds. I scored the other side of it so it would fold open. That way it will fit into a Ziploc bag. And um, I have in here an Altoids tin with, um, uh, I, there's 10 uh, half pans of paint, a small pencil, a uh, paintbrush that I cut to size and sharpened the end of it with a pencil sharpener, a store card, a pencil eraser, and um, right there is a little travel water pot. It came with a clip, but um, I took it off the clip and I'm using it with Velcro on this board. This Altoids tin, as you can see, is not going to fall off because I have a magnet. I decided to attach it with a magnet. And um, those little half pans are attached to the Altoids tin with a magnet that I glued on the back with, um, actually, uh, I used double-sided tape to glue that, um, mag magnetic strip on the back of those little, um, paint pans. So, um, that's it. Um, so as you can tell, I have one hand for holding my, uh, my sketchboard and palette and tools, and my other hand is holding my my uh, phone so um, I'm gonna have to um, stop recording here for a minute and oh I didn't tell you but there is I don't know if you can see it because the board's white but there is a little tiny um, I think it's two and a half by 
three and a half or it might be two by three it's a the same size as the Altoids 10 a little piece of watercolor paper that I have there and um, I have other sheets that I cut to size and they're inside that Ziploc bag so if I want to paint something else I can do that but um, this is this is it for this um, part of the video but I will um, go ahead and paint a little something test out this kit see how it works okay guys so I just finished uh, this little sketch here it's still wet it's not quite had time to dry but I just wanted to show you this um, little kit fits um, right in the palm of my hand I have um, my little dirty water pot my used up paper towel my, I used um, the water brush and the um, little DIY um, uh, travel paint brush that I made and um, out there is kind of what I was trying to paint um, and this is just a little small sketch it's not perfect but you know it helped me um, it helped me um, figure out the colors um, where I'm at and um, this will be useful information to take back to the studio to do um, more uh, more uh, outdoor landscapes and um, also put some texture into the tree there and I tried to get that path and um, just some dappled leaves and stuff like that but that's it and I uh, hope you enjoyed this and if you make one leave me a comment and let me know thanks happy painting